Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to new makeup launches. I am excited because there are some pretty interesting products. Like always, I'm going to give you my opinions if I will purchase, pass, anti-haul, wish list style. Um, <laughs> I've been excited to talk about makeup and I was like, you know what? There's a lot of new products, a lot of interesting ones and some that are... A little not interesting so let's just get on to the products okay we're gonna start off with lady gaga's makeup brand house labs which is now a clean artistry makeup and it is available will be available at sephora um not all sephora's which was a little weird but i guess maybe in time they'll have it at all sephora's um the thing is with her makeup i feel like it never really was super popular when it was on Amazon and it just didn't feel like if you think of Lady Gaga I kind of thought of like you know her outfits that she used to wear in her music videos that her palettes were going to be all extravagant like that um and I think that a lot of people thought that and expected that from her makeup line so when you saw her actual makeup line it was all more like toned down like it wasn't really interesting for me I personally only bought one item from her line and it wasn't even any like anything new and extra it was an eyeliner a liquid eyeliner and the only reason I bought it was because I was searching on Amazon for liquid liner that I needed like that you know next day <laughs> and hers had gold packaging <laughs> That is the only reason I bought her eyeliner. I mean, it was good. It's a good liner, but it's nothing out of this world, honestly. Um, you know, I just bought it because of the packaging. But this, I mean, it looks interesting. It looks a little more interesting than her other products, but I don't know. I mean, it's cool that her makeup is now clean, cruelty-free, vegan, but uh, it still just doesn't interest me. I feel like I have to wait for reviews. And usually by the time I start seeing reviews, there was never any good hype around her products. Like it doesn't get hyped up or blown up. Although I know there are some products that get blown up and they're not really good or they just don't work out for me. But for the most part, I feel like the things that blow up on TikTok have worked out great for me and I end up liking them. Um, so for good reason, some things go viral and there was just really nothing about her line that I would ever see like go viral. Not even one specific product that I'm like, oh, I'm going to try that because everyone has been talking about it or has good reviews. Like her line just came out and it just, I forgot about it <laughs> until that one eyeliner. Um, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to know if you guys were interested. Do you guys buy anything from her line? Let me know. Moving on, we have from Miss Huda Beauty, which I share with you guys in another um, makeup launch video, her concealer. It, I saw a video that it was leaked, which is why people started seeing the concealer. It came out before time, so they just had to launch it, which kind of sucks. Um, but now that it's launched it is their luminous matte concealer from the uh, faux filter line it is available in 29 shades yeah 29 shades and it is fragrance free which music to everyone's ears because i know her fragrance products are really intense and i mean I've always told you guys I didn't really care for the scent but it did linger on sometimes and now that everything's fragrance free for the most part it's really nice um, not to worry about the scent and this concealer I am very excited um, it is luminous and matte which I personally like that for my under eyes because it gives you such a nice glow underneath the eye so it looks like a healthy glow and I'm very excited this is a product that I've seen all over TikTok lately and Instagram it's already in my list I'm going to be adding it to my cart because I definitely want to try it out I have been on the hunt for a concealer um, because my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I can't find the shade Vanilla anywhere. And that's the shade I used to buy. I bought like three of those. And now, like, I went on Ulta, I went on Too Faced, and I went on Sephora. They don't even have the shade in the list on any anywhere. And 
you know, not even like it's there, but it's out of stock. No, the shade is just non-existent. Uh, so that's very annoying. Um, I hope they didn't discontinue that shade because it was my favorite. I felt like it was like the perfect shade for me. It's a shade of vanilla, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, and it was just the perfect shade for me. I loved it so, so much. And now I just can't find it. So I will probably go in store and look for a different shade but like I have to go in store and see which one's going to be a good fit for me because you guys lately my foundation choosing skills my shade choosing skills are just basura honestly like they are trash I have had to return so many foundations because they're just the wrong shade I either get too light too dark and I used to rave I used to show off how good I was at choosing shades even just online I would always choose a perfect shade and now my rave <laughs> The way I've been choosing shades and having to return or ended up having to keep because it took too long to go return. I can't with myself. <laughs> Next we have from Miss Kim Kardashian. She has her new skincare line called Skin. Um, am I the only one who just isn't interested in trying celebrity or influencers skincare brands now makeup I will say yes I will try it because makeup is different you know an eyeshadow palette or a lipstick is different than skincare um just because I feel and I I don't know if it's this is just me and this is just my opinion my two cents I feel like they have the best estheticians best dermatologists estheticians did I say that with like a lisp estheticians estheticians dermatologists like they have the best of the best skincare at their fingertips and I just I'm just gonna say I just don't trust it is is that weird is that just me am I the drama <laughs> just kidding but I mean this looks nice and chic and sleek and cool but it's just something that I can't get on board with um and I say that for influencers uh, skincare lines as well because there are some influencers that have released skincare and some seems interesting but I don't know I just I'm like mm, yeah no I rather buy skincare from skincare brands but that's just me and my two cents so let's move on <laughs> Next we have from LA Girl Cosmetics, which this collection will be available on their website and on Ulta. They launched this really cute highlighter, matte bronzer, and palette. And the palette gives me all the like smoky eye vibes because it's just very neutral. You guys like these uh, palettes. It, they're your cup of tea. Keep buying them, girl, <laughs> honestly. That's all I can say because I myself keep buying neutral palettes um, because it's just what I'm into right now. Um, the matte bronzer is definitely what's on my list. I have seen so many good reviews on their other bronzers that they launched that they became super popular. Uh, so I definitely want to try this matte version. It has a, like a few different shades, so it seems like a little more, you know, universal a bit. Uh, so I would definitely be on the hunt for that one. Uh, next we have from e.l.f. They have Luminous Putty Blushes. You guys know I'm obsessed with their putty bronzer bronzers like literally obsessed I love them I can't get enough of their bronzers they're so so good um and I wear them daily uh the color I'm interested in is the top shade it looks to me like luminoso but in like a cream form Lum luminoso from milani it's one of my favorites so this definitely catches my attention these are only seven dollars super affordable and girl I'm excited for these. Next we have from Fenty Beauty. And I feel like every brand at the moment is launching lip oils. So here's Fenty Beauty's Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. Which honestly I ain't mad about all the lip oils coming out left and right. Because I am loving them. My favorite still right now is standing is the Milani ones. Um, but I definitely do want to try more. And I still want to try the Dior ones. But the more reviews I see on TikTok of 
products not to buy, products that are overhyped. The lip oils from Dior are in all those lists and they're like slowly, slowly discouraging me from buying the lip oil because it's like 40 something dollars and they're like, it's not worth it. And if I love my Milani as much as I do, I don't want to be disappointed when I try the, the Dior one but still still in my mind still in my mind next we have from moira cosmetics which is a brand that i personally haven't tried but i have seen a lot of great reviews on their products a lot of rave on some of their products and i am interested in trying some of their products these are definitely on my list so it's their set and correct finishing powders and they definitely give me the Givenchy vibes um and i showed you guys that those products those powders in I think the last video uh, launching new makeup and these just give me those same vibes but these are only $15 so I'm definitely interested in trying these out I want like the top shade with the lavender and the bottom shade with the green I want both of those those are the ones that caught my attention this says it's an ultra fine and weightless formula complementary shades to correct uneven skin tone brighten add radiance to your complexion it has jojoba <laughs> I'm gonna say jojo I'm such a defense. Uh, sunflower and grapeseed oil. It's oil absorbing powder, which is the same claims that the Givenchy one has. Um, and it will also reduce the appearance of pores while softening the skin. I kind of want to buy the Givenchy one and buy this one and see like, is that a good do because the moment I saw this I thought of the Givenchy one I was like hey and I haven't even tried that other one but it caught my attention as well I told you guys I wanted to try it out I want to try the loose powder and the pressed one and I want to try the pressed one from what, what was this <laughs> the pressed one from Moira but let me know if you've tried any products for Moira Cosmetics if you like them what you recommend from the brand I think I have a few products that I could be like okay let's do an order already next we have from Pat McGrath she has new skin fetish blushes and highlighters I am on the hunt for highlighters I did try uh one of her blushes before not this specific one uh because it's like a duo uh which they're actually really really pretty they do retail for $44 so I don't know I feel like for $44 I could buy a whole palette a whole blush palette from another brand and you know have a lot of other colors but that's just me uh they're still beautiful and you know sometimes when you're like i want to treat myself like this would be a treat in my opinion uh or the highlighter i am on the hunt for a highlighter because i feel like i keep using the same highlighter left and right every month and i'm like okay i'm gonna give it a rest and i don't which is a fenty beauty uh hustler baby highlighter the baby one that i have literally i am about to hit pan on a highlighter and that is wild to me because it's a highlighter i still liked the beaming highlight glow from every angle <laughs> i like that highlight um so the gold one at the bottom definitely would catch my attention i want to see swatches and reviews of these and then see if I pick them up. <laughs> Next we have this Disney collab Wet and Wild times Stitch which is such a cute collection and I actually I think it's really really cute. I wouldn't pick up necessarily the whole collection but there are a few things that do catch my attention. I feel like that's what's happening lately with Wet and Wild collections like before I was like I want everything and now I'm like okay there's a few things that catch my attention. Uh, the palette is cute. It looks very like fall vibes in my opinion. Um, it's cute, but definitely something I wouldn't be picking up. Now, what I do like is this palette. It's the Hula Honey Glow Face Palette. It's only $9.39, and I actually love their powder bronzers and powder highlighters. So this is definitely something that I would love to pick out, pick up, pick up, pick up. And they also have a sponge. Now, it does catch my attention. I don't know why. Well, I do like Stitch, but... 
the color of the sponge is super cute. I feel like that's what attracts me to sponges, like the different colors. Uh, and this one catches my attention, but it gives me kind of like the vibes of the Care Bear uh, sponge that I did not like for liquid products. And I usually love Wet n Wild sponges. There are some of my favorites. Their original pink one, favorite, favorite. And I think a Halloween collection they had like three years ago where they launched like a green one, a purple, black, and an orange one. I picked up the green and the purple and I love them. The formula is really, it was nice. The same as their original pink one. And then the Care Bear one, it was a no for me. So I'm hoping this one is the same as their other sponges because it does have like the slants like it usually does. Um, so we'll see. I definitely have to check it out and see it in person. Next we have from Lawless Cosmetics, Lawless Beauty, Lawless. <laughs> they have this new Forget the Filter Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Cherry Vanilla, which I don't like the vanilla scent in it, but the cherry definitely. Um, it's an overnight lip plumping mask, which is interesting. I showed you guys in my last haul that uh, in my glossy box, I got a Grande Cosmetics Lip Plumping mask and I tried it I was so in love with it because it doesn't tingle burn intensely like other lip plumping glosses do and I like that it plumped them just enough and I really really like that so this would be something that if I see in store that I, I feel like I have to smell it first if it's too vanilla -y, it's gonna be a no for me but if that cherry is overpowering the vanilla scent then definitely it's something I will try next we have from Miss Anastasia I feel like we haven't seen a palette from her in a very long time and I do not know how to pronounce the palette but this is her new eyeshadow palette. Um, after Subculture, I couldn't get back on with getting a palette from Anastasia. Not even at Marshall's, TJ Maxx that I've seen them are super, super cheap. I just couldn't bring myself to get them because I was one of the persons who got like a bad palette. I know a lot of people, like some people really love the palette and they said that they probably got the good batch. Other people said that they were all the same. I personally bought the palette so I can experience it for myself and I got a crappy palette. It was one of the worst palettes I've tried ever. There's the palettes from the dollar store that I've purchased that are better, that had a better formula than that one. And I don't know, I just can't bring myself to buy her palettes. This one catches my attention. I think just because we haven't seen a palette from them in a very long time, or at least I haven't. And I think that's why it's, you know, it's like, ooh, it's a new palette from them. Will it work good? Will it be like subculture? <laughs> that kind of vibe. So I don't know. I'm still undecided and I think I want to see reviews first. Next we have from Essence, which I've also wanted to try their palettes. I've never tried their eyeshadow palettes and the two at the top definitely catch my attention. This is such a cute little collection. And so we have Roma, Miami, and London. Um, London gives me like 4th of July vibes, definitely. <laughs> but Roma and Miami look so pretty. Miami looks like a perfect like spring summer palette. And then Roma is also like a summer summer spring kind of like fall palette because of that green and that brown I feel like I would still use it in the fall then they have lip balms and highlighters the palettes are the ones that definitely catch my attention and lastly celebrating pride month we have this collection from she glam which personally I really like the palette um I haven't purchased a colorful rainbow palette since e.l.f. times J. Kissa. That's like my absolute favorite rainbow palette ever. And I still use it every year. I use it year to year. It's one of those palettes that I just feel like the formula is amazing. That I wish e.l.f. would have more collections with that formula of palette, of eyeshadows. Um... So this She Glam palette looks beautiful. I love how they're just straightforward rainbow palette, not a lot of other random colors. And it's just all mattes and then all shimmers in the same rainbow tones. Um, this is a really cute palette. Honestly, it's one of the best ones I've seen in a long time that catches my attention personally. They also have highlighters and I think eyeliners. The highlighter is pretty cool. Has like a little rainbow in it. Um, 
it, the, the highlighter is only $5.99 and the palette is I think $11.99 which is not bad and it is super cute again this is definitely one on my list I haven't done that other order to finish <laughs> placing um, my order for like the makeup video that I want to do for you guys but I will now definitely be adding this into that order so I can do that video for you guys that's basically it for all these new launches let me know in the comments your thoughts what products are you interested in what products are you definitely saying no what are your thoughts on that new uh, Anastasia palette I think the colors are pretty but I'm definitely going to wait for, for reviews. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And like always, I will see you in my next one. Bye.